Hello guys, uh, this is the first video of creating a shopping list and uh, this is not the end result of the list, this is what we're going to, this is the end result of this video, not the whole series. So we're going to have uh, two inputs here where we can write the uh, name uh, of the item. So for example, we can write eggs and we can write that we want 10 eggs. and Later in the future, we're going to be able to press the add product and it will be added to the list. And then we're going to be able to press on these items to navigate and see more information about them. So this is just the UI part in this video. And next video, I'm going to add a database and be able to click on them and yada yada. So let's get to it. I have an empty project here, a Jetpack Compose activity project. So let's get started by just removing this greeting function right there and here and create a new composable and i will name this main screen like this and we're going to use the scaffold the scaffold gives us material design uh, prospect so we can have a top bar so in here we're going to write top bar equals and let's fix this a bit like this and this top bar is going to be an app top bar and this app top bar is not going to have anything inside it right now so we're just gonna have a title and uh, it's going to be a text and i will just write shopping list like this so if we add this main screen composable function here and uh, in the preview we should see a top bar right now so let's just try that out yeah you can see it says top bar and we're not gonna have content in here but we're going to add a comma here and write content equals and do like this so in here is where all the content inside the scaffold is going so the first thing we're going to put in the content is going to be the inputs so i'm making a new composable and it's going to be input yeah let's just name it input so here we're going to make a column and this column i want everything to be in the middle of the screen horizontally so we write horizontal alignment and then we write alignment dot alignment dot center horizontally and we also wanted to fill the whole width of the screen. So we write modify equals modify dot fill max width like that. And the first thing we're going to have here is a text. And I just wanted to say add item to the shopping list. Simple like that. And underneath this, I want to have a text field. And this text field here can be a bit tricky if you have never worked with the composables before so the value here needs to change every time we're typing and we need to store that value somewhere so we're going to create a variable called item name and uh, we want this item to store be stored in the memory and we also want it to change and notify all things that are listening to the value of it that it's changing so we're going to write by remember and then curly brackets and we're going to use something called mutable state of so if you do this it can only store strings if i write a zero it can only store uh, integers so i'm going to just write this have it empty at the beginning uh, import all the stuff that is needed and then I'm going to write that the value of the text field is equal to the item name. So it's going to be empty at the start, but every time something is changed, we're going to update the item name and it's going to update the value of the text field. So how do we do that? Well, we write curly brackets here so we can have some logic inside. So we want the item name to be equal to the va current value that has changed in the text field and we just write it is equal to it so it is the current value so if we add this input inside the content here we run this and double check 
so now I have add item to the shopping list, the text and the text field and now we can write. So every time we're writing and deleting this value in the item name is changing. So let's add another text field. Um, before that I want to add a placeholder here. And I just want this to be a text saying uh, uh, product name. Uh, so this text field is going to be the amount of the item we want and for that we need to create another variable Just name it amount and it's going to be an integer so we write zero and This value here is a string, but this value of the amount is an integer so we write amount dot to String otherwise it will complain that we're trying to put an integer in here so the pr tricky part here is when the value is changing, it's trying to put uh, a integer, a string value inside our amount who only takes integers. So how do we fix this? Well, there's many ways to do this and I'm going to just do a simple way that is not perfect, but I'm going to write that the amount is equal to the value that is changed, but only if the, cu so if the current value is blank, if it's blank, it will send in a blank string, which we can't get, it will crash. So if it's blank, we send in a zero. And if it's not blank, we send in the current value and turn it into an integer. So what happens if it's not an integer, then it will crash. So we're going to lock the user out from writing strings in here by writing keyboard option is equal to keyboard option. And this takes in a keyboard type and it's key, we're gonna write keyboard type dot number. So if we run this quickly, you can see here, here we can write whatever we want, but in this one, we can only write numbers. So that's perfect and it's working. So what we need next, yeah, we need a, but a button to add this value to confirm that this is what we wanna put in. So we write button and I want a text inside this button just saying add product. Run this. And we can see we now have a button. And underneath here we want to have a uh, list of the products that is inside the shopping list. So we make another composable and we just type name this shopping list. And right now we don't have a database or anything. So we need to make a like a preview list. So I'm going to write val a temporary list and it's going to be a list of and I'm just going to write uh, some strings here shopping list egg chicken butter and I'm just going to copy paste this to show that it can be scrollable for now. Uh, so how do we make this a scrollable list? We're going to use something called lazy column and a lazy column is pretty much a recycle view in the old UI system in Android and it has a scope here called items and this here takes a list of items. We choose that one and we write that the items are equal to this uh, temporary list and we also need to add curly brackets. So now for each item it finds in the list, we need to specify what are we going to do with each item. And I'm going to make it a card to make it a bit prettier. And I want this card to fill the max width. And I also want this card to have a bit of padding. And we want to be able to click on this card, but right now it's not going to do anything. And to have this on click method, we need to just opt in for experimental API, which just means that this may change in the future. It doesn't really matter. And we want the card to stick out in a layout a bit. So we're going to add uh, elevation. Let's do three. And inside the card, we want to display the text inside the item. So we just write it and it here is the current item in the list. So it's going to be egg and chicken and etc. 
but I want this text to be a bit prettier. So I'm gonna add a modifier, add some padding here. But I also want the text to be in the oops in the center. So now if we add this shopping list under the button, we should probably add it here in the future. But just now for text test purposes, we can now see that we have a scrollable list with the name of the items here. So this is the first episode where we just did a UI. And the next episode, we're going to make it possible to navigate. So if I click on chicken, I want to get to a new screen where it says chicken and more information about it. And we're also going to add a database in the future. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you for watching this episode. Bye.